So I picked up this 91 uh, Briggs 3.5 horse classic at the scrapyard and uh, just trying to tear it down. Of course, the uh, it doesn't want to turn over because the blade brake is on there. Good old system 2. So anyway, I undid the starter cover bolts and voila. Must have been a carpenter mouse. You ever see such a uniform nest in all your life? And he didn't even chew up the Governor Air Vane. Probably just lift that thing off of there. Yeah. That's a grass covering the magneto. Looks like you got in some insulation or something too there. But yeah, this one the oil was pretty black in it. Still got a little bit of it left in the funnel there after five minutes. He's, she was pretty black. When it's that, that dark, you know, you've let it go too long. Time to change it and give your connecting rod extra life. Upper, lower crankshaft bearings also. Other than that, you know, this thing, yeah, it's got something else. A blade mount. One corner broke off it. Second time I've seen that on this particular type. Don't quite know why that is, but yeah, 21M. So this is whatever letter M is in the alphabet. That's how many motors I've got this year. That's 1991. I started writing that on them. Oh, five, six years ago, I think 2015 or sometime, just so I could identify when I got them. And um, if I pull it apart, crankcase isn't uh, labeled, so the uh, you know, really the only labels on this. I, I started writing the my designation inside, like the bottom of the gas tank and on the block and on the starter cover. That way I can try to keep the same motor together. Um, like this one, if I want to get the blade mount off, um, generally I'll take the gas tank off because uh, I take it inside and I don't really like gas fumes in my basement, so right next to the furnace. Not that it's running at this time of year, considering it's uh, like 85 Fahrenheit out. And today it was, what, 118 in British Columbia? That's like crazy. It's been a very strange spring here. It started off cold for a long time, like later than it should have been. And then it got hot and like real hot. Then it got cold again and now it's gotten hot. So, it was 91 a couple days back. But well, we got the garden in. Tomato plants are doing pretty good here. Wife has a forest of them. Got some peppers there. Cucumber forest. Onions are doing good. I always seem to have trouble with green beans. Grubs or something eat the seeds. I even uh, made a, a box out of... Uh, steel and drilled eighth inch holes in it smaller than the grubs and some some plants did come up where I did that you can see uh, broccoli and uh, some uh, squash further up there and we got watermelons out on the lawn and oh yeah my uh, well not mine but it was actually the neighbors I'll zoom in here see if I can get it pink hollyhocks there, that's in the neighbors, and then they migrated over to my place, and now there's like a whole bunch of them, pink and red and dark red. More. Yeah, they're kind of nice, they get kind of tall, and make sure you don't mow them down with the lawnmower. But. So I'm just out playing around here after a rainstorm. Got this, uh, Husqvarna there, it's been sitting two, three years up by my one shed. i uh, not quite sure what I want to do, it's self-propelled. I wouldn't mind having a self-propelled mower, uh, just because of the the hill that my yard's on. You gotta, you gotta push it up the hill. I got the, uh, the riding mower going there, but it's not so good. We got so many obstacles to cut around here, unfortunately, with the garden, you know, picnic table. All of my junk. So, 
I'm not sure how one of these will like turn the corners either, but they're my normal little uh, little three and a half Briggs push mower here. It, it seems to do a pretty good job. I keep a keep a rain cover on the gas cap there, so it keeps most of the water out of the gas tank. Uh, I've seen gas tank bottoms rotted out here. We get, I don't know, we get 30 inches of rain a year or something. In this area, something like that. I get to strip the uh, 12 horse uh, 84 Craftsman mower there. I'm keeping most of it. This part's going to the scrap yard. I may, I may cut some more of this 8 inch plate off it there. I seem to have uses for little pieces of plate all the time, so don't get too much of them at the scrap yard or that so anyway I guess I've rambled on long enough I guess I I guess I should say one more thing yeah the the 24 cylinder is not going to happen this summer um, I just haven't been able to get a start on it I uh, did start earlier working on some of the motors and things but uh, the main body of it and that uh, instead I've been working on this trailer and uh, some other things around here like, uh, the, well, the riding lawnmower there was one of them. That took a couple weekends. You only got like, you know, 12, 14 weekends a summer. So, yeah, we're almost to July now, so. Plus, my wife wants me to clean this up so we can sit out here and eat. But, that's, uh, that's looking like a lot of work to me. And I got this, uh, real type mower there that I started on it's sitting in the basement on my workbench so I got got lots of projects on the go but uh, still collecting Briggs's too as the, the 91 over there shows so anyway uh, hope everybody manages to stay away from COVID and I'll uh, keep on working away here on various projects I'll, I'll do something Briggs related to some type of some type of motor so anyway everybody take care for now